This is a tutorial on how to get Linux running on a TomTom -tom sat-nav. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need your sat-nav, a PC with an internet connection, a compatible SD card, with an accompanying reader, and a power supply. Before completing any of these processes, I recommend removing the SD card from your sat-nav and making a copy of it on your PC. This is just in case anything goes wrong during this process. So all we need to do is copy and then place it in a safe place on your computer. I'm just going to call the folder TomTom Stock Firmware. Then we'll paste it in there. Now we've got all the files backed up, we're now ready to start the process. This requires either an inbuilt SD card reader on your computer or an external USB SD card reader which is ensured to be reliable. On your computer, delete all the files from the SD card. Might take a while to do this. Now we've got a clean SD card, we can download one of these files from the link in the description. There's either the basic build of the software, or the extra build of the software. The basic build includes only the graphical interface, with no additional applications, other than the stock ones. The extra build includes a couple of extra things like media players, and a couple extra applications just to test the capabilities of the device. I recommend the extra build unless you tie it on storage space. So, we'll just download this. Now that the zip is downloaded, we can right click it and extract it. Now we can open the folder and extract and copy these two files to the SD card. Dom Dom, control V. Now we just need to wait for the transfer to complete. Now the file is transferred, we can now safely eject the SD card. And reinstall it into the SATNAV. We're now also going to need our power supply. with the mini USB lead. Having this connected to power is mandatory for the first boot. Afterwards it can run off battery. So I'll just switch it on. first boot always takes a while so I'll come back when it's on. Okay so we're now in the touchscreen calibration utility. So you just need to click in the centre of each of these crosshairs. I'm just going to place it down whilst I do this. We have it now in the software. If we press on the menu, there are lots of programs installed. Give me a minute. Just gonna hold it. There you go. Makes it easier. So in the 
with quite a few programs installed. Call Reader, Tom Player, File Explorer, Web Browser, Editor, Spreadsheet, Navit, and TomTom Tom Navigator. I got a ton of games. Got some system tools, networking settings, and um, USB control. Um, so you can just open the file explorer. As you can see, it's a windowing file, windowing operating system. And from here, we can access all the data that's on here. Um, Browse file system and see all the files. It's quite tricky to use with our style. Um, there is an editor, is a um, document writing program. It's got to find the on screen keyboard now. Keyboard. So we type this document. the file there we go we've got test.txt saved And that is all saved onto the SD card. So that's it. It's running. I'm ready to use.